Thing one tonight, Sean Spicer began his first day on the job as White House press secretary, blatantly lying. This was the largest audience to ever witness an inauguration, period. These attempts to lessen the enthusiasm of the inauguration are shameful and wrong. Sean Spicer's willful bending of reality became a hallmark of his tenure in the White House. The Obama crowd was obviously bigger, as anyone can see with their own two eyes. Donald Trump did not win the most electoral votes by any Republican since Reagan, as Spicer claimed. Paul Manafort played more than, quote, a limited role in the Trump campaign, as Spicer claimed. I could go on and on and on, but you get the idea. So now that Spicer has a new job at the Institute of Politics at Harvard University, he's gone from being paid by the public to tell lies to getting paid by one of the world's most prestigious, prestigious universities to, well, tell more lies. And there is another crowd shot photo to prove it. That's thing two in 60 seconds. Last month, Harvard University brought Sean Spicer aboard as a fellow at its Kennedy School of Politics, where part of his job is to engage students and inspire them to consider careers in politics and public service. Some of those students spoke with Huffington Post about what they're learning at their August educational institution from Spicer, like his claim that an alternative fact is three plus one equals four or four plus equal zero equals four. Those are alternative facts, he told them, while a lie is three plus two equals four. Okay. Here's another lie. Uh, according to HuffPo, Spicer is also telling students that reporters had the chance to go and knock on my door and see me anytime, but they would only ask questions during the White House press briefing so they could be on camera. We know that's a lie because over the weekend, Yahoo News' White House reporter Hunter Walker posted this photo from March of at least one dozen reporters standing outside Sean Spicer's office. Have you ever lied to the American people? I don't think so. You don't think so? No, nope, I'm cheating on my okay. taxes. Unequivocally, you can say no? I, I Look, again, if you want to find something, I, I have not knowingly done anything to, to do that, no. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.